Do you want to build the best relationships with the deepest trust that helps you relax and pushes down your stress levels and the other person's stress level? Well, I hope the answer is yes, because otherwise there's a problem here. But yes, if you want to build those things, you need to learn about a specific hormone called vasopressin. Vasopressin is a hormone released in the human body under a number of circumstances, but the one we need to talk about today in relationships is when you solve a challenge with another person. We're going to talk about exactly what that means. We're going to talk about the complications. We're going to talk about why this hormone is especially important for men. And if you want to bond with men, I'm going to show you the secret to doing that too. Now, before we jump right into talking about vasopressin, how to make it happen and what it means for your relationships, let me remind you that on adamlanesmith.com, you can find all of my resources, especially some that are going to be useful for this video, including works on how to improve your attachment style and become more secure and my attachment bootcamp course, which has a deep 25 minute guide into how men bond and a different 25 minute guide into how women bond and also lengthy videos about how to put both of those together. My attachment bootcamp course will show you in way greater detail some of what I'm going to present here today. But today you're going to learn all about vasopressin and why you need it so much in your relationships because you really do. All right, let's jump right in. What the heck is vasopressin? When does it happen? How do you make it happen? Why do you want it to happen? And what does it mean for you in your love life? Vasopressin is a hormone released in the human brain. And really, in almost every animal has it, almost, is teamwork. It's the teamwork hormone of we solved a challenge together. So it's two guys, you know, 20,000 years ago, taking down a mammoth with their spears and then high-fiving afterwards saying, oh, you are a good hunter. Thank you for helping me. This bonds the two of them together so that they say, when I have to hunt next time, I want this guy. I want, I want this guy right here. And it says, then I'd better keep this guy around and maintain good relationships in the meantime for the next time I need him. Women have this hormone too. Men have more receptors for it in the brain, but women also get this hormone. And if you have a difficult childhood where you have very low oxytocin in your childhood, the research shows that your oxytocin receptors, the hormone responsible for love bonding in the absence of stress, holding hands, laughing, talking, sharing jokes, that those receptors may shift to instead take on vasopressin. Because vasopressin is actually older in our earthly species than oxytocin is. Vasopressin was there first. It is the one responsible for, hey, I survive better when that person is with me. I should keep that person around. So when a person releases this vasopressin, their brain says, I need to emotionally invest in keeping this person with me. I need to be with them and I want them to be with me. It often opens the doorway for more oxytocin bonding. So the two of you will bond closer, feel better about each other and stay around for the next time a crisis hits. Vasopressin is incredibly important for good relationships. There's an Icelandic proverb that really captures this and it says, bear is the back of a brotherless man. A man who has brothers, even if they're not blood brothers, adopted brothers, a man who has brothers has armor and protection on his back. A lot of this saying goes back to vasopressin. These are people who will guard you, they will take care of you, and when a crisis hits, these are the people that will stand beside you, take up arms, and help protect you. These are the people that when you fall down and break your leg in the forest, they will drag you back to the encampment and feed you. When you're sick, they will spoon feed you the soup so you don't die. When a tiger pounces on you, they will help you fight off the tiger. And yes, they will help you hunt that mammoth to feed both of your families. It is not only men who bond through this, but again, men have more receptors for this. Go figure. Men are goal-based and mission-based, even in their friendships. <laughs> Who knew? But this is why military buddies who serve in those like World War II, World War II units and they came back together in their 90s and they are still best buddies and they are so happy to see each other. Vasopressin bonding, intense vasopressin bonding. Now, some of you might be watching this and saying, well, that's just a trauma bond. Well, a trauma bond is a bad version of this that people with bad faith can activate to make you do some of this. We went through hell together, but you also make hell happen in my life. That's a trauma, that could be a trauma bond. Yes, that's the bad version of this. You also might not recognize like the suspension bridge effect maybe in this. You know, you recognize like, hey, these are the action movies when they survive together. These are the buddy cop movies where they start out hating each other and by the end of it, they still really push each other's buttons but they survive together. I'm thinking of the, Ro the Rush Hour movies with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. I love those films. Perfect vasopressin bond guide right there in action. 
vasopressin happening right there between those two guys, which is why at the end of it, there's why there's three movies and they're buddies throughout the experiences. Vasopressin is happening right there. That's vasopressin. In relationships, vasopressin is incredibly important for men and women, but men specifically, and, and if you're watching this, you may want to bond with men. Maybe you do. A lot of people come over from my TikTok channel to my YouTube channel and say, I need to learn more about vasopressin bonding because a lot of women are very interested in how to bond with the man in their life. Go figure, they love him. If you are wanting to bond with him, vasopressin bonding can open the door then for him to say, you are such a great ally in my life. We have solved challenges together. I'll teach you how to do that here in just a moment in the second half of this video. But we, you are such an incredible asset in my life. I need you with me. Ride or die, girl, kind of thing, right? I am going to emotionally invest in keeping this relationship and fulfilling your needs as well. Please tell me what I can do to help you and how I can build love between us. This can help them, vasopressin bond. This can, this can help them bond tightly to you. It can even help sometimes if they aren't quite open, if they're not totally connected, this can really start that process and help them get there sometimes. Now, how do you activate a vasopressin bond? Well, it's actually simpler than you think. Now, to make this work though, I have to preface this by saying the person has to recognize that you are solving a challenge together a challenge, a task, a goal, a mission, you are accomplishing something that matters to both of you in some way, and you are recognizing that both of you are involved and helping each other. I say this because some people with avoidant attachment style, their brain may log that they solved the challenge and they used you as a tool to get there. This can happen. And it doesn't mean they're, they're not a sociopath. I mean, some of them will be, but sociopathic can come from a severe avoidant attachment style. But especially the more ma manipulative and the more narcissistic the avoidant person becomes, the more likely it is they will see you as a tool. A lot of women come on my live events when I teach about vasopressin and say, I put this guy through school. I took care of him. I paid his bills. I bought him a car. He could not have built his life without me. And the moment things were good, he left me for a younger woman. Yes, he probably had severe manipulative avoidant attachment style and didn't recognize he was solving any problems with you. He thought he was solving them alone, using you as a tool to lever against his issues. That's a problem. That is not vasopressin bonding. That is him just pumping up and feeling better about his life at your expense. Vasopressin bonding is we are solving it as a team and you high five afterward and you have done it together as a team. That element must be there. So just be aware of that. Make sure you're tracking your relationship in that regard. Make sure the attachment is going. Again, adamlanesmith.com. I've got all my resources on the website to help you fix your attachment. I've got an attachment styles guide on there for free that you can check your attachment style. You can watch some of my other videos here on this YouTube with your partner and say, are we both good? I want to vast suppress bond with you, but I want it to count. You can, you can do that. Check your attachment here on this channel. I've got all kinds of stuff for you to do. And if you don't know how to build better attachment as a couple, check my attachment bootcamp video course. That will help you lead you in the direction of a secure attachment, both of you. And actually, as you fix your attachment style, you can vasopressin bond as you fix attachment. Pretty cool fact. So what is vasopressin bonding? What are the activities that you need to do? It can be as simple as doing a jigsaw puzzle together. So as you slowly piece together a jigsaw puzzle, more and more you put the picture together and you say, look what we did. This is awesome. And you can literally high five over it. It can be building something like building birdhouses. You build, you know, they got kits on Amazon for this. Or you just go to the hardware store. You build the first birdhouse. It's going to suck. It's going to look terrible. It's going to look like a bird hovel. Like like what bird would want to live in this? Like, this is awful. You give those away, by the way. and they, Or you paint them and you hang them in your backyard and you laugh at how stupid they look. Then you build another one, another one. You build 10 of them. You give them away as Christmas gifts and you give away birdhouses, but you've built them together and you high five at how they get better and better and better. You learn a skill together. You take a cooking class. You take a dancing class. You take some kind of class together and you learn skills side by side and practice them and high five as you both get better. One of you teaches the other a skill and you keep going until that person's really good at it. Then you've done it together. You repair something. You like re you refurbish a couch. You reupholster a couch. Or, or you repair, you restore an old piece of an old antique, or you repair something around the house. You do the, you do the you repair the plumbing under the sink if you can do that, or even just doing the laundry together and you high five having finished it. Even that can be something. It can be repairing something big, like a car engine. It can be paying off a big debt. It can be repairing the relationship. It can be fixing some major relationship challenges for other people, fixing family challenges. All of these things, when you have done something together and you can high five, celebrate that milestone. My wife and I will literally high five and yell vasopressin. We will, like I should have her on here and just come in and do that real quick. I think we've done that on YouTube lives or on, on TikTok lives before. We literally high five and yell vasopressin as we're doing it because we have such a good time, but we recognize it too. Vasopressin bonding as a couple is one of the most powerful things you can do long-term because when you hit a crisis, you can already tell 
your brain is going to need to say, I can work with that person. I've worked with them before. We've solved 500 things before. We can solve this too. We can work together. And your brain, especially the guy's brain, turns toward her and says, let's work together. You've seen plenty of couples where they hit a crisis and the guy turns away from her to solve problems on his own and then goes off into an affair because someone else came along and helped him manage his feelings. The wife gets cancer, the wife gets hurt, he gets sick. You've seen this before in a crisis, right? That's what's happening is they did not have vasopressin bonding. This is why the research shows a vasopressin renewing bond every so often, renewing your vasopressin is incredibly important because it reminds the two of you, oh yes, we're supposed to work together before a crisis hits. This is what you're supposed to do. And then when you go through hell together, it really vasopressin bonds you for a while. So you're set as long as you actually worked as a team. If you had to fight each other to make it work or one of you shoves the other one out and says, don't worry about it, I'm going to handle it, then it's probably not going to go very well. It's really not going to go very well. This is why vasopressin bonding is so crucial in your relationships. It's absolutely vital that you make vasopressin work. And it's not just for men, and it's not just even in romantic relationships. Your friendships, vasopressin bonding can be really helpful. If you're in a business and you have a business co-founder, or you have someone working with you, or working under you, or a boss, or co-workers, this is why corporations invest tons of money in team-building exercises. They are usually vasopressin bonding exercises of what they are. Did you know that? But we hate them, and so we don't actually bond through them, so they're usually completely wasted. It's, you're wasting thousands or tens of thousands or millions of dollars on wasted vasopressin activities that did nothing. What you could have done instead was celebrate the wins in your department and make sure everybody actually feels like they won together. That would actually vasopress and bond your team together. Maybe I should be doing this. Side note to self, actually build vasopress and bonding activities through an attachment specialist lens. Ah, there we go. But right now, wherever you are, you can be leveraging this in your relationships. Which one of your relationships would benefit most from knowing that you could trust each other when the chips were down? Maybe it's your dad. Maybe it's your brother. Maybe it's your sister. Maybe it's your cousin. Maybe it's your best friend. Maybe you guys need to renew that bond and remind each other that you can work together as a team. If you had to hunt a mammoth to feed your family, who would you hunt it with? Think about that. Who in your life would you go hunting with if you had to hunt to survive? Who would you want to stand with you if you had to fight? We've all seen those stupid memes like the last character of the book you read is the person who's going to stand with you against the zombie apocalypse. How good are you or how bad are things? Well, the person you have most vasopressin bonded with in your life is the person who will stand with you during your next crisis. How screwed are you? How strong is your vasopressin bond? This is something you're going to need to pay attention to. In fact, it's something you could get on right now. So pick up some of those, those activities I told you about just a moment ago. A jigsaw puzzle, restoring something, building something, teaching each other a skill, learning something, getting critique from them, and then improving your own skill. Building something together where you can high five and say, we did this. We hit a milestone. We improved something together. That's the vast suppressant bond you need. Build that back in. That's the person who's going to stand at your side during your next crisis. And especially if you've got a partner, make sure you're building that vast suppressant bond it will last and it will help things turn out much better. So now you know the absolute basics you need to know about vasopressin. Feel good? Feel like you can go out and make it happen? High five and yell vasopressin the next time you do it and think of me and my wife doing that too because we will be doing that. Now, if, if you're struggling to be able to open up and ask for your needs to get met, if you're really challenged thinking like, man, I don't think other people are going to work in good faith. I, I, I do better on my own. There may be an attachment issue at play and you may need to work on that. Check out my website, adamlanesmith.com. I've got tons of resources on there for you. And if you are just looking for human beings you could even trust, check out my community, The Attachment Circle. We are working all the time in there to solve problems, to help each other out. We're vasopressin bonding and oxytocin bonding in there as we work together on each other's relationships. We share details, we share information, we share advice. I teach in there twice a week. I would love to vasopressin bond with you in that team as we solve things in your life. Let me know. I'd be happy to have you join. Click the link down below in the description. Check my, dis my about section for the link tree or again, adamlanesmith.com. Pop in, let's talk, let's work, let's bond. And while you're at it, thank you for watching this channel. Please subscribe. Please drop me a comment if you have vasopressin bonded before and you're now saying, oh, that's what that is. Or if you're jumping in saying, well, I've never known about this. Thank you. I am going to do this with my husband right now and see how this works. Leave me a comment if you give it a try and say, hey, this worked. I tried it. Let me know. I love hearing those wins.